गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम पूर्णिमा एंड वंस अगेन आई स्टैंड बिफोर यू टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट नरेशन नाउ दिस इज द लास्ट फेज ऑफ नरेशन विच वी आर डूइंग एंड बिफोर बीकिंग अवर क्लास लेट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय सेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर रिविजन प्रॉपर्स सो वॉट इज अ डायरेक्ट सेंटेंस डायरेक्ट सेंटेंस इज दैट सेंटेंस डायरेक्ट स्पीच इज दैट स्पीच विच इज द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड ऑफ द स्पीकर आर इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच इज दैट स्पीच इन विच द स्पीकर द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड इज सेट बाय द स्पीकर ओन वर्ड एंड देयर इज ही मेक्स टीम चेंजेस नाउ आई ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू द पार्ट ऑफ डायरेक्ट एंड इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच इन द पार्ट आई टोल्ड यू दैट दे आर टू पार्ट ऑफ द डायरेक्ट स्पीच इज देयर वन इज द रिपोर्टिंग पार्ट एंड द अदर इज द रिपोर्टेड पार्ट it is the reporting part which uh, uh, children it is the reporting part which uh, tells about all the uh, changes that uh, in the reporting verb is there which determines all the changes in the uh, in the um, children when we change from direct to indirect speech now in in that uh, when changing from in uh, indirect speech from by changing it from direct to indirect speech what do we see we see that uh, the reporting part reporting part is uh, uh, that part reporting part is children we say first we take the reporting verb if the reporting verb is in present sentence reporting verb is in the reporting part so if it is in the present sense so six uh, things are changed first thing we have to remove the inverted comma second we have to remove the central comma then we have to uh, add the conjunction and then um, the pronouns are changed of course when pronouns are the changed words automatically will be changed according to the verb pronoun and then um, what will happen words will change according to the pronoun and then when words will be changed verb, verbs will be changed according to the pronoun then uh, finally you have to see uh, the tenses will never change because if the reporting verb is in the present tense then all the part inside the reporting verb will be in the present tense also now children i also revise with you the past tense okay when the reporting verb is in past tense then seven things are changed so what are the those things let's revise once again so those things are there children and this i'm talking about assertive sentences this thing i'm talking about assertive sentences so when the reporting verb when the reporting verb is in uh, past tense okay when the reporting verb is in past tense uh, then uh, we have to see a few things okay and what is that children that thing is uh, there first we have to remove the uh, report inverted comma then we have to remove the central comma we have to add the conjunction that um children then what we have to do then we have to change the pronoun i have already changed, told you there are various rules how to change the pronoun okay and then we have to change the verb according to the pronoun of course if the reporting verb is in the past tense and the all uh, tenses will be in the past tense okay uh, so the tenses will also be changed and children the other words will also be changed like tomorrow will change into the next day the yesterday will change into previous day so this i told you but one thing you have to make sure that the reporting verb should only be in the past tense so only this thing will be change okay now i also revise with you children the rules how to change the pronouns like children the pronouns which are inside the reported part okay reported parts are those parts which are inside the in, inverted comma so if the first person is there in the reported part children then it will be changed according to the reporting part then it will be changed according to the reporting part okay so uh, that you have to see that will be changed according to the uh, reporting part now 
you also have to uh, see students if the sentences if the sentences are there in the uh, children uh, it's in the assertive sentences are there and if the reporting verb is there so how you will change the pronoun the pronouns uh, if the first person the pronoun is there uh, in the reported part so it will be changed according to the person of the reporting part of that uh, direct speech and if it is second person so it will be changed according to the uh, reported part it will be changed according to the uh, reported part of that person okay so uh, this you have to see okay so uh, one thing is clear to you that uh, uh, whatever children you have to do uh, we feel that it is very complex but it is not very complex why because children there are so many rules and regulation but if we remember the rule is step wise like first rule we have to remember that whether this is a direct speech or indirect speech if it is a direct speech and you have to change it to indirect speech so first thing what you have to do you have to see the reporting but okay and then you have to see what are the pronouns which are there in the inverted comma and then according to if the reporting verb is in the present tense the six changes you have to do if reporting verb is in the past tense then you have to do eight changes only this you have to do nothing else okay and at the same time children you have to learn few rules like uh, the rules of changing how you in the rules uh, you have to learn that how other words are changed like yesterday is changed to the previous day does is changed to so and children you also have to learn by heart that uh, in what manner the tenses are changed in what manner the tenses are changed that also you have to learn it okay so this is there now i have also told you children the next step which i have told you that how the interrogative sentences are changed i told you when the reported part is is a is in a question when it is in uh, reported speech then two things are changed first direct speech and the second is indirect speech first is direct speech the second is nice this uh, how what you have to change you have to see two types of interpreters are there yes two type of question is there and w h question is there so if yes two type of question is there okay and then what you have to see if yes next type of question is there then what you have to see you have to uh, see uh, that um, direct speech okay what you have to see that what thing will be changing is yes, two type of question so first children said to will be changed into asked say will be changed into ask or inquires said to will be changed into asked or inquired and children in yes no type of question you have to remove the inverted comma you have to remove the said comma and you have to write the conjunction if or whether this is very important you have to write the conjunction if or whether okay then children the question here the question form will be changed into declarative sentence that means uh, children that formula which i have told you it is r m in that subject verb is in this will come first in the question part but in the declaration of the sentence what would be the formula children it will be subject plus uh, auxiliary verb plus main verb which i have also discussed in detail in my previous video okay so you have to see this thing also and if wh words are present then everything should be in the wh words other changes will remain the same as mentioned under other changes and specific changes so other changes in the the way it has been mentioned that will remain the same okay so this you have to see now this children today i am going to do a new sentence pattern with you uh, and that is um, 
imperative sentence. Okay, that is imperative sentence. So, children, what is an imperative sentence first? So, imperative sentence are those sentences uh, from which we will come to know that whether it is a, the sentence related with order or the sentence which tells us about request or command. Okay, or all these things. Okay, so these then they are uh, these uh, things are what? Or these things are uh, imperative sentence. Okay. So children, here uh, I am going to write some of the rule, and you have to note it down, and then only we can do. So in the, the imperative sentence, children, first of all. Set two, which is there in the reporting part, is changed as follows. So set two is changed into follow as follows. Like. command so what you will write commanded and if it is set to is there and if it is uh, the sentence is related with uh, children order okay then what is there what is there it is ordered okay no requested if it is requested request is there then what will be the sentence requested then um, in case of advice, advice. What is the meaning of advice? To give doctors give us advice. So it would be advised. See the spelling here. C is there and here S is there. Then uh, in case of phase suggestion. You have to write suggested. Okay. Then the sixth one. In case of a threat or warning, warn. Denial. What is the meaning of denial? Refusal. So this you have to learn. If you will not learn on this thing, you won't be able to do. So first of all, you have to recognize that is this the sentence? Uh, these sentences are related with what? It is related with suggestion or request or command or uh, denial or threat warning so you have to children write uh, in place of set to you have to write all this thing you have to write suggested commanded uh, requested warned okay all this thing you have to see now students i was uh, telling you that um, set or set to is change will be into asked um, no, it, it will be asked into commanded in the imperative sentence. In case of advice or suggestion is there, so it will be changed into advised or suggestion. Advised or suggested. In case of request, it will be become requested. In case of threat or warning, it will be become warned. In case of denial, it will become forbid. So, 
And then the next important thing you have to see if it is a positive sentences you have to write two and if it is negative sentence so you have you have to write not two. Now inverted commas are removed the same thing this will happen in all the sentence whether it is an assertive sentence or interrogative sentence or imperative sentence. No change is made in tense of the verb of imperative mood. No change is made in tense of the verb of imperative mood. The tense of other words is changed. So uh, the tense of other word is changed. Now, children, to become perfect, okay, you have to practice the sentence. Without practicing, you won't be able to do it. Okay, so let's start with some of the sentence which tell us command. Okay, so let's say now one sentence I am writing and the sentence is Sentence is the principal said to him. first thing you have to see here that this sentence is related with ordered or command or requested or advised or suggested. So children when we will read the sentences, we read this sentence. What is the sentence? The principal said to me call the boy. So you can see this sentence is of children. This sentence is related with order. Okay. So what you will write, the principal ordered him, because said to is written, it is past tense, so you have to write the principal Positive sentence, then you what you have to write? You have to you have to write uh, not to. If it is negative, not to, and if it is positive, then what you will write? You will write to. Okay. So this is a positive sentence here. Let's say the principal order me to call the boy. Why to call the boy? Because this is a positive sentence. Says. Now we will take one another. The farmer said to Jack, go away.
format set to jack to go again. Okay, so what will happen? What will happen? The format it can be ordered also and it can be asked also. So the former asked. people do the wrong thing because they think that this is a uh, sentence of simple past so they change the uh, children the verbs form inside but remember with to we always use first form of the verb with to we always use first form of the verb now second sentence is he said please give me another chance Remember, children. If in uh, a partial sentence, if please is there and if kind is there, uh, please and kindly. So you have to remove these two words. If please is there in the in in this set type of sentence, you have to remove please. So he said, what is the question? He said, please give me another chance. So let me write the question. this type of question is there then what you have to do if this type of question is there then you have to see children you have to see that you have to remove first thing you have to remove please you have to remove please okay now remove it so let's remove it what will be there he requested them to give him and the chance he requested them see i have removed this here he requested them to give another chance okay he requested the sentence related with request so i have written requested and remove the word please then children to give another chance okay so this was there now i will be writing the next question children so what you will write he requested me to help to help her he requested me to help so let's talk about the sentence in the 
let's talk about the children some sentence related with negative sentences like children i will be telling you he said to the boys don't make noise so this is a command okay this is a type of command he said to the boys don't make a noise so this is a type of command he asked the boys he asked the boys what he will write not to make a noise because here children don't is there it is in the negative sentence it is don't is there it is in the negative sentence so he said to the boys don't make a noise he asked the boys not to make a noise okay now children you have to see if it is a positive sentence you have to write not to and if it is a negative sentence it is written, you have to write not to and if it is a positive sent sentence you have to write to now next sentence children i am reading he said to moti don't move he said to moti don't move now here you can write he told moti you can write here he told moti not to move he said don't be foolish he told me not to be foolish the guide said to the student please don't touch the ball now children here two things you have to see this is important question the guide told the student to touch the ball okay so uh, here you have to see children there are two things which you have to remove first is please okay and the second thing is that children negative sentence should be move uh, negative sentence so what you will write here please the guide said to the student you can write here the guide requested the student you can also write guide ask the students okay you have to remove the word please and instead of don't you will write not to touch the ball the guide requested the student or guide asked the student not to touch the ball okay so children what you have what we have to do yeah, children you have to write do not or don't you have to remove it okay and um, children you have instead of not you have to write the word do and please and kindly should also be removed please and kindly should also be removed okay now children some of the sentence is there which is related with exclamation and wish so this is an exclamatory sentences are there um let me uh, tell you children some of the explanation i will be telling you uh, explanatory sentence in my next video okay and then uh, some uh, but i will be telling you some of the uh, terms uh, sentence which is uh, children beginning with the terms of address to reported speak like he said rajiv when is the next train so he asked rajiv when the next train was he asked rajiv when the next train was okay uh, now children sometime children uh, reporting part come at the last okay it is the reported part which come first like in this sentence be quiet i told him so you can write i commanded him to be quiet how brave you are okay uh, uh, sita uh, asked him that you no know, you can write children how uh, that um, you are very brave so you can write sita told him to that he was very brave so such type of question children we can write okay and uh, children this is uh, in this uh, reported speech you have to practice a lot without practicing children the rules uh, children you have to revise again and again revising only for once will uh, create the confusion and you won't be able to do that and so many since so many rules are there in all types of sentences so you have to revise the rules again and again okay so children before uh, uh, finishing this thing before uh, ending this part once again i revise the rules of new negative um, imperative sentences that children you have to change the set to and uh, you have to change 
according to the sentence it will become compounded requested what okay suggested order uh, for page uh, okay and the children you have to use the you, you have to use conjunction to in positive and not to in negative sentence if please and kindly words are there then you have to remove it okay no change is made in the tense of the verb so with this children i conclude my video here thank you and have a nice day ahead